Hey YouTube fans, we're on our way from Pat Bush in Robertson to Dwellhof in Wellington and our route is taking us across the spectacular Bainscliffe Pass which is actually a national monument. It was completed 1854 by Andrew Baines using conflict labour. It was originally for horse and carts obviously but it was tarred in later years. But it really is truly a spectacular mountain pass. I mean just look at that. On the final stretch to Dwellhof hitting the gravel. That's actually where we came down. We came down the pass there. There's the Africa Camp sign. I guess I'm gonna stay, but I'm just gonna wait in the background watching you talk to her. I know this might look bad, but I'm just gonna melt in the background watching you lean into her. Do that walk through. You need to bear in mind that a lot of these camps are on working farms. As you can hear, they're busy spraying the vineyards just, be just behind the trees there. Which is fine, I mean, it's how we get wine on our tables. And we've got some right here. Not a girl off, but it's a very nice one anyway. And, uh, but bear that in mind. If you're here during the week, you may or may not have to put up with the sounds of day-to-day -day farm life. This is looking good. And the hot tub is actually quite warm. It's actually really nice. Fire's going on. Oh, Dwellhof, wine estate, just outside the town of Wellington in the Western Cape. Tucked away in a little valley between Wellington and Bainscrove Pass. The closest Afrikaans property to Cape Towns. An hour's drive, even less than an hour. So it's definitely one that should be on your bucket list if it's not already. The estate is owned and run by two business partners, Johan and Angelo. Probably what you might call a boutique wine estate. There are very lovely wines. If you're a wine lover, there's plenty here to keep you happy. There's also some really nice walks. We've done the vineyard walk, walking through the vineyards. There's two rivers that run through the farm for trout fishing. The Vita is well known for brown trout. There are six tents and once again you've got that consistency and the class and the quality of the Afrikaans product so it's not many they are a bit closer together than some of the others but there's no sense of a lack of privacy the tasting cellar nice and shady tasting cellar there and yeah, there's a couple of people around looking forward to that and then we're just waiting for the cheese and meat platter to go with it and then also the gin. What do you think? By no means a wine boffin, but this Sauvignon Blanc is really nice, it's especially on a hot day like today. Cheese and meat platter. Thank you. 
should go quite well with all this. I would say the Sauvignon Blanc and the Pinotage get my back. Thank you, Duelo. And thank you, Africams, for the opportunity to be here. We're going on this vineyard walk. Here are the tents, and then we're going to continue here. So we're not really far from the tents. Uh, we're leaving today. We've got two days to kill, which we're going to spend in Cape Town with family, and then we're going to Stanford. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you there.